Today we're going to make this simple snap together puzzle and teach you the basics of 2.5D milling using the Bantam Tools desktop PCB milling machine. Let's dive in. To lower the barrier of entry to CNC, we've made milling 2D shapes and designs dead simple, as in no CAM programming required. For as much as we love and regularly use Fusion 360, CAM can be daunting for beginners. With this approach, all you need is an SVG file that's been properly configured and you're ready to mill. We begin by opening our design file in Illustrator. If you're not an Illustrator user, Inkscape works as well. With simple shapes, our software reads the outer path of a design as the cutout, whereas internal features and fills are read as engravings. A complex SVG like this is actually very easy to set up in our software, and you can mill beautiful engravings without much experience on the machine. However, looking at our rooster puzzle, we'll need to tweak this SVG in order to mill a hole within a cutout. Remember this simple rule of thumb, our software turns strokes into cutout toolpaths and fills into engraving toolpaths. If we import this SVG into the Bantam Tools milling machine software as it is and select our 1 16th end mill, we'll see the appropriate cutout toolpath corresponding to the rooster's outer stroke. But the eye and inner boundaries are marked with a red unmillable warning. That's because the stroke width is too small for our selected tool to fit into. If we jump back over to Illustrator and update the circle for the rooster's eye to be a fill, however, save, refresh the file, and then set the engraving depth to the full thickness of our material, we'll see the eye appear in our preview. Again, strokes are cut out toolpaths and fills are read as engravings. You can do even more complex designs and toolpaths with our SVG support using the Advanced tab, but we'll cover that in a later video. Now that the preview looks good, let's measure and load our material into the mill, insert a tool, perform a tool touch off and begin milling. Whether you're engraving or making simple shapes, using our SVG support is a great way to begin machining without getting bogged down in the complexity of CAM. What could have easily been 20 more boxes to check in a CAM program was reduced to this one simple rule of thumb. And look at all of the things we can create with this simple workflow. Okay, this rooster looks lonely. Time to millet some friends.